What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to JDS Outdoors, Jepo Build 2.0, episode number 16. So here we have what's been done so far this week, which isn't much. Did order a few parts. Got the uh, got the new winch rope, synthetic rope for the winch to replace the cable. They said it'll do 6,000 pounds. I'm not sure. You'll never find out because my winch is only rated for 2,500 pounds and this boat won't weigh anything near that. Got the new fair lead for the front. So now we can start getting the, uh, the bow of this boat build done. And it also ordered uh, a rubber bump stop. It's called a hook saver. So it should help protect the hook and the hook components. And I got the back of this boat elevated off the off the ground to make welding on the transom easier. I got most of this diamond plate chunk welded on here. Still have yet to weld on. The uh, the step protector and all that. Weld on up top there. Get a little look inside the intake tunnel. Bottom of the boat, the spoon going on. Use the engine hoist to help lift it up so I can slide that sawhorse under there. Reason number 3,287 why, uh, why engine hoists are awesome. Second set of hands when you don't have a second set of hands. Also went and picked up uh, this new toy. Let's go check it out. Kind of tough to see because it's in my shed, but. There's a Minn Kota Power Drive V2 55 pound trolling motor with a bow. Uh, this was a 2016. The guy said it has about an hour of use, which I'm inclined to believe. It's something close to that because, I mean, the prop doesn't even have a nick in it. And the foot pedal, a foot pedal looks brand new. So, $650 trolling motor. The guy sold it to me for 300 bucks. Can't complain about that too much. That'll be a nice addition to the front of the boat. But, uh, let's get back to working on the boat. Well, just finished welding up the back transom step and the uh, jet pump protector. I have to just add corner brackets, one going there, one going there, to add a little bit more support. So I can make my kicker motor mount for the back. But I tell you what, welding that uh, quarter inch aluminum diamond plate is no easy task. I just uh, just finished welding it. That thing is hotter than two rats screwing in a wool sock right now. But starting to look pretty sweet. Got uh, that's about it really. Just gonna get this top cap welded on here next. I'm going to start working on that throughout this week. Added a gas lens to the TIG welder there. We're welding at 200 amps to get that tied in. But that's going to be pretty sweet on the back, I think. So I also picked up a couple things for the trolling motor here. Picked up a new trolling motor plug. Eventually, I order another one of them receptacles so I can put that on my pontoon so I can use the same motor on both boats. And then picked up a 60 amp breaker. And the reason I went with this one was because this one also acts as an on off switch. So clip it on or off. So it'll break the power to the troll motor if you want. Now, I plan on mounting both of these in the front of the boat. Uh, somewhere in that area. I'm going to have the power cables come up and connect through this breaker. And I'm going to run the winch and the trolling motor off this one breaker. Only because I want to have one breaker and also the uh, trolling motor and the which will never be running at the same time. So I shouldn't have to really worry about it, I think. 
I'm not an electrician, but that was just my guess. So, and then uh, rope and stuff for the winch. But apologize for not putting on a video yesterday. I ran out of welding rod, so I couldn't finish welding this on. But I since went and stocked up. Um, I also blew up my scooter, my little parts runner. I had a new engine ordered for it, but they sent me the wrong one. So I'm waiting on that so I can have my parts runner back. But enough about the uh, Zuma there. Back to the boat. So, next step, yeah, welding on this top cap once this thing cools off a little bit and add those corner brackets. And then uh, it's working back on the bow, get that done. And uh, yeah, just keep plugging along. Pretty soon, uh, I got a lot of requests. People wanted to see how to do the paint. So I'll do a, a video on that when it gets to it. Still got to remove the rest of these stickers. I was playing with a way to remove it, try to heat gun and torch. I think I'm just going to grind it off and patch those holes. So hopefully within the next week or two, we'll be getting it painted. I don't know. I had uh, hopes for having it done this next weekend, but with work being as crazy as it is, not going to happen. Nonetheless, the boat will get done. So if you want to see what it looks like when it's done, feel free to subscribe. Drop a like, dislike, comments, whatever you would like. Uh, as always, thanks for watching, and uh, hope you enjoyed the video.